With your weatherbug.com severe weather outlook, I'm meteorologist Gretchen Mischik taking a look at some incredible footage of a tornado from Rogan, Colorado yesterday. This particular storm was reported to be uh, developing a tornado that was said to be on the ground for close to 15 minutes. There were numerous reports of tornadoes across portions of Colorado and Nebraska, as well as several reports of high wind stretching from Kansas, Nebraska, actually all the way down into portions of Georgia. Here are those storm reports clustered from the central plains all the way down through the southeast in an area that's very similar to how they laid out throughout the day yesterday and the day before. So not much change in the weather pattern here. And once again, some of the same areas are going to be dealing with strong to severe storms. We've already had ongoing severe weather across portions of Oklahoma throughout the overnight hours. And as a storm system progresses eastward. We're going to see more rounds of showers and thunderstorms in some of the same areas again. So our concerns for today include additional severe weather as well as flash flooding because many of these areas are looking at uh, ground that's already so saturated and with additional rain on the way there's just nowhere for it to go. So the slight risk zone includes Oklahoma again, the northern portions of Texas and now it's shifting eastward and northeast to include portions of Missouri, Arkansas, as well as the western portion of Kentucky, Tennessee, and into the northern portion of Mississippi. Then, as we look ahead into your Sunday, Texas and Oklahoma are yet again in the slight risk zone, as well as southern Arkansas, Mississippi, and into Alabama. So uh, we're starting to see a slight southerly shift in that slight risk zone, and then continuing to track that severe weather threat into Monday as well. We'll keep you up to date with the details right here at WeatherBug.